I mean, one way that you could really uh, modify how you do your RISE courses is to try to bring a little bit more personality into them. Uh, in the On the branding side, there are things you can do with the colors and the fonts and and probably also the tone in your writing, right, to get from that corporate legally type speak to something more personal that sounds human and friendly. Uh, this is kind of a typical course, right? This is one of the business courses. The tone's fine. It's a great looking course. So this is probably typical of what uh, we would probably build and rise. And it works great, right? But one of the things you could think about is like, how do I personalize that experience? And there are a lot of studies that show like when you have an avatar or a guide in the course that can bring something uh, to the course. So you could do something like this, which this is essentially the same type of content. The only thing is I introduced some characters. Uh, so I have my character, Sarah. So now Sarah becomes a guide through my learning. And then and this is just a simple lesson. So I put her in here a few different times. And so I've got her, again, same, same content. I just modified it a little bit. Um, but uh, through here, you can now see Sarah kind of comes back in and she's kind of engaging you in this conversation. So there are a lot of studies that show having an avatar guide is really helpful. It does kind of personalize the experience for you. Um, you're kind of communicating with a human rather than just reading. Uh, and then in the scenario, I brought her in here. So you can see you can bring the characters in. It doesn't require a lot. You can kind of change the tone. It's like a person talking to you would be the first part. And then just bring the character and sprinkle that uh, images of that character throughout your course and kind of interject as if that person's talking to you. So you can see here, I, I like to use the uh, image text blocks for that. Uh, and then down here, I just kind of switched it up a little bit, right? And then you interact. And then here's a scenario. And if you're wondering on the scenario here, I just put in a white background so it kind of blends with the course. Uh, let's go ahead and preview this and you can see kind of what it looks like. So I've got you know, Sarah kind of introduced the course. And then I go through my content. We're working on customer emails. Go through that. And then here's the customer email. And then I'll ask Sarah saying, hey, let's think about this. And again, you're kind of just introducing a personality mark these things, go through this, and now we have the scenario. And again, I put a white background on here, mostly just so the scenario looks like it blends with the rest of the course. It doesn't have that blurred out background, and you kind of just go through the scenario. And I changed this up. This is actually, if we look at the lesson, this is actually the content that I believe is down here in this accordion interaction. So instead of using the accordion interaction, I use the scenario block, which is kind of another a bonus tip in there. So if we come back in here, you know, I'm going to give you the information. So, you know, outstanding customer service is friendly. Here's a good example of that, right? The response that you could have put in there. Uh, and then here's a bad example of that. And then you can see, and then here's the, um, I'm ready to move on stuff. And then you kind of go into another one, right? Continue. Uh, customer service thoughtful, blah, 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 move on. And uh, some of the key points I brought in um, from that accordion interaction, I just added through the conversation. So that's an, it's, it's a good way to show like here's an accordion interaction, you're going to read the information, which is perfectly fine. And in a lot of ways, probably just faster. But if you do want to kind of add a personality to the course, and then use an avatar or guide, there's no reason why you can't use a scenario block to share that same information. So these are the good, bad examples. And then this is what I did as a final point in the scenario. So if we kind of go back, let's go through one of these here. Uh, here's the key point. It's efficient. That was the top of the accordion interaction. Here's the good example. Here's the bad example. And then here, if we come back to that, here's that kind of key point in there that's summarized. I'm ready to move on. And then she kind of gives you a summary point and you continue. So nothing super fancy, but it's just a way to kind of change the perspective on the course. So in, instead of just content that you read or that you're consuming, create a personality and have that personality or avatar guide you through the content. Uh, it's not something we see a lot in the RISE demos that we see, but it's something that can kind of change up the way your courses look and feel.